apologize about the wind out here. It is a windy day out on the ranch. And uh, truth be told, I already have filmed this part of the of this review before, but <sighs> somehow I deleted all of it. So anyway, I'm gonna have to refilm. But if you notice in the back here, you're gonna notice that a lot of things are already cut down. I do have some drone footage of what this looked like before I got started. However, I'm gonna take out all, if not the majority, if not all of these pines today to clean this up and then I'm gonna go over there to the other side and clean up the rest of that but anyway what I wanted to share with you guys today is one of my favorite tools out here on the ranch it is incredibly versatile tool for anyone who has a bunch of property that they're trying to clean up but I think that this tool would be good for anyone that has any property because it is such a good tool it is cheap and it what it can accomplish is incredible this tool that i'm talking about today is the this is the forester nine inch cutting blade for a weed eater let me go ahead and open this up okay this is what you'll get it is it basically is a blade it is very thick and it has these chain teeth on the outside here and what this can go through will blow your mind it literally can go through anything that is i mean basically any tree you know you only have the depth from here to here but if you take out a circle around the tree which i'll show in uh in some of the footage of me actually using the tool you can cut down a very large tree with it and then you can ask go through and actually cut the tree into pieces like you see here um and uh that way you can you know do whatever you're gonna do with it you know you can turn it into biochar you could burn you know push it onto a pile you could use it for solo stove or there's so many different things you could do with the pieces that you end up with versus coming in with a chainsaw making one cut and the tree falling over but i wanted to run over this product with you guys explain to you kind of how it works how you put it on your, your weed eater, what weed eater requirements I think that there would be. I don't, it doesn't officially state the weed, that there are weed eater requirements, but I would say that at the very minimum, I would want to have a weed eater that's got handles like this. They call this like a bicycle handle weed eater. And the reason being is that when that blade grabs something, it will try to rip it out of your hand. So it's very, it's a very good idea to have two hands on it. Now I know with a regular weed eater, you would technically have, you could have two hands on it, but this one is very nice. You wear a harness when you're using it, you got the handlebars. So let me get to uh, showing you guys kind of how this mounts on your weed eater. I'm not gonna put the new blade on because this blade is still good that I was using before, but I just wanted for demonstration. This is how most weed eaters would be set up. So you take something, you put it up in this hole here. That locks it. This is this is good for a still, but I'm sure that most of the weed eaters out there use a similar system. And then you spin the weed eater until you until this finds its little home in there. There we go. Okay. So now I can just simply spin this off. This will come off the the this will come off the, the, the drive shaft there. Now the way that this is going to work is you take the weed eater blade, the Forster blade. Now you can tell with this one I've already used it quite a bit. It normally has writing all over it on my on the still line of weed eaters and i'd imagine most weed eaters the the text is going to face up when you're using the weed eater so if you see there i'm going to flip this over because this weed eater right now is upside down to make this easier for me then you're going to take this you need to buy this separately you can buy this one is from still but you can buy them just from amazon whatever this is a tapered washer that goes over the spline shaft and then this is just a cup. So when you put tension down on this cup right here with the bolt, it will push down on this and it gives you kind of a, I guess a, somewhat of a clutched hub there, although the hub is already clutched, but it will lock this thing down on there. And then you're gonna have a nut. This is reverse thread. So don't try to spin it on the other way, you won't get it. And then you're gonna just run this guy down, take your tool here, tighten her up should have that still locking in there so it can't spin and then give her a good tighten you definitely don't want that coming off boom done now you take that out now this thing's ready to go so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys just how versatile this tool is and why I love it so much for the price it's about $20 for a blade I've done this entire area here with one blade and I'm 
the blade's working so good, I'm not ready to put another blade on yet. Uh, they do sell them in two packs, and I think it's slightly cheaper. But if you're doing some land clearing, you know, you have multiple options on how to how to clear out the property. I've done it now a bunch of different ways. I've done it with chainsaw, done it with this, and obviously this has its limitations. You're not gonna do a giant tree, you know, giant, giant trees with it. Like you're not gonna do those trees up there for with it. But these trees and trees up to, you know, say four or five inches around, definitely can just cut right through them. This is a great tool for doing land clearing of, of you know, of, of reasonable size. But when you, when you get much bigger than this, the forestry, you know, forestry mulchers become a really good option as well. So something to keep in mind, you know, we, we've done it now all different types of ways. I find this tool to be an incredibly useful tool. It has, does have limitations, but for, for a $20 entry price, if you already have a good weed eater, you just can't beat it and it really is a tool that i probably use more than any other tool here on the ranch so i figured out making a video that kind of highlights its its abilities and just how versatile it can be would be a good idea the only things that i would definitely take into account is you know you have to practice safety with it for sure definitely wear eye protection you're going to want to you know obviously wear ear protection with a loud two-stroke weed eater and also make sure that you are being controlled with that blade at all times. If it grabs a tree, it will definitely try to kind of rip it sideways. It doesn't, it's never really gotten sketchy on me, but I don't want to tell people to go out and buy this tool and then they end up hurting themselves. So anyway, let's get to it. I'm gonna have some footage of on actual, weed, you know, on the, on the weed eater. I'm gonna have some footage on me and then we'll, uh, and I'll show you, you know, just how long it takes to clear out these trees right here. Let's do this. It's 3:52 right now. We'll see how just how quickly I can cut all this down. I'm gonna say I think I can get these all cut down in about 15 minutes. So um, I still need to put my harness on and everything like that. So 3:52. Let's call it probably 3:56, 3:57 before I can really get rolling. So let's see what exactly how long. my target by quite a bit it is now 453 so that would also be known as I believe about an hour <laughs> but if you look now we got it all cut down so there was a lot more in there than I expected but I think my wife would also agree that that's pretty much how I time things what I think would take 15 minutes typically will take an hour so but it, it definitely lends itself I'm gonna overlay a drone shot I'll do another drone shot as a matter of fact. Kind of showing what it is I cleared out here. Oh, but man, if you had any idea just how many trees I cut down. And like I said, I didn't cut them in. I didn't just cut them down. I cut them down and I cut them up. So there's quite a bit to that. And it takes quite a bit more time than just simply cutting them down. If you're gonna cut them down and throw them on a trailer, that'd be one thing. But I really want to, I really want to burn this here and I think it'll be quicker the way I did it. So let's, I'm gonna get packed up here and I'll show you some of this footage of, uh, of this tool and just what it's capable of doing. 